I'm back. It's 7.56. I've been trying to do my videos starting at 8. So I'm early today. So. What's up? What's going on, guys? It's Maribel, your trainer. And today I'm going to be showing you three movements that you could do to grow. Girl, you see, my mind moves so fast that it doesn't give myself time to get it out. My mind works so fast, especially when I drink pre-workout. So if I'm talking too fast, I'll try to slow down and remember, relax, it's okay. But I have three movements today to show you guys how to grow your glutes and your bump. So if you could... You could for sure do this at the gym. All you have to do is either find the machine, which I'm gonna put on the screen that matches the move, or you could add dumbbells, or you could add resistance, or you could do body weight. It's really up to you. But these three movement, you must add it to your glue workout or your lower day. It kind of depends how your schedule is. So and that's another topic that I wanna get into it. Um, what kind of scheduling do you do throughout the week? Do you do by muscle group do you do full bodies do you do this and so but that's in another video and i also wanted to mention i know that i said that i wanted to do a active wear a hole but i had to return a lot of stuff back because they fit me too big and i just got my gift card back so i will be ordering the right sizes this time and then i'm gonna go ahead and do the hole that's just i know i know i know my hand hurt already. And you already know your girl did not get her stand and did not set up. And not only did not I not set up, my favorite stand broke. So I'm not really happy about that. But let me put you guys down against my crystal that I have. And maybe I could talk like this and it'll be cool. You know what I noticed that I didn't notice when making videos and, um, you know, people say things here and there to me. I do this. I guess so, like, I don't know why, I don't know why I do that, like, this, I don't know if this is gonna work, I'm gonna go ahead and set up, because, but it's like, what the fuck, yo, why do I do that, it's like, it's so funny to me now that I notice, there's so many little things that I do that I never notice, that people tell me all the time, like, yo, you do this, yo, you do that, crazy, but anyways, let's get to this, oh, uh, well, I can't even say let's get to this workout because I'm not working out with you guys today. But let's get to these three movements that you must add to grow your glutes. So add it to your workout and make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, share the love. And don't not forget, do not forget, hydration is key. You should be hydrating two hours before your workout. And do not be eating crazy the night before you go to the gym because you're going to regret it. So, let's go. One thing I do, well, I want to say two things. One thing is this. I personally, Maribel, no other trainer, I'm not talking about other trainer, I'm talking about Maribel, yo, me. I squat every single day. Some people might be like, what? What? Why? You're supposed to do that. You're not letting your body rest. You're not letting your muscle rest. Chill. I squat every single day because it makes me happy. As a trainer, you are supposed to teach your clients to work out. However, always add a movement that makes you happy. And for me, my movement is squatting. So let me squat. So I squat every single day, no matter what I'm doing. Um, I know some people might be going crazy. Like, why? You're supposed to let your muscle rest. Listen, I'm okay. I rest every day. My life is good. I'm good. I'm living. But I squat every day. So every time you do a workout, if you're at the gym, make sure to add one movement that makes you happy. That's not on your workout plan. That you do it because it just fills your soul. So that's one thing I do. I squat every single day because it makes me happy. Okay? Okay. Number two is this. What was number two? That's another thing. I'll be forgetting. You can, yo, if I don't talk about it right now and then, I'm gonna forget. Like, it's gonna be like. 
what was I trying to say? Like, I forget so much. What I wanted to say, I just remember is, when you do a workout plan, you should be doing the same movement for a whole month in order, or even more. I would say three months, uh, like a long time in order to let your muscle show you what you've been working. If you keep changing your program and changing your your workout, you're not really gonna let your muscle grow and show you what you're doing. So keep the same movement. That's why if you do my workout, you notice I I actually repeat the same movement and I'll change it within three to six months, but you have to follow a program. Move number one. Make sure that you warm up and that you're always staying safe at home as well as the gym. Let's get started guys. First move, elevated squat. Elevated squats are great for hamstring and glutes. If you are performing this movement at the gym, you do wanna go to the Smith machine or maybe the squat rack. I had to work on saying squat rack <laughs> but anyways and you do want to hold your barbell across your upper back or use dumbbells which is fine just have them on your side keep your chest lifted always core engaged and knees aligned with your toes lower yourself into the squat position by bending your knees push your hips back and keep your back straight drag through your heels and return to your starting position you do want to do around three sets of eight to ten always proper form we want to add extra depth to your squat which also helps you build strength and also works on your stability move two move number two is side leg races with cable machine if you or if you could make it to the gym on that day and you want to do some lot some leg races just use the cable machine this is a great machine that focuses on your inner thighs and also those outer thighs you do want to attach the ankle cuff to the lower pulley of the cable machine and also make sure that it's secure stand sideways to the machine supporting yourself with the opposite head lift your leg direct to the side maintaining that tension that the cable gives you lower your leg back down with control manner you do want to do around three sets i'm gonna say of 12 to 15 reps on each leg the cable resistance provides consistent tension engaging your hip adductors for scope and that strong outer thighs that you want movement three and move number three is one of my favorite favorite moves but if you are gonna do it at the gym i'm gonna advise you to use a hack squat machine this is excellent to target your quadricep hamstring and glutes while also providing you a lot of support on your lower back but this machine could be scary or it could also be confused with another machine so i just want to say this Position your back against the pad and place your feet shoulder width apart. Okay, grab your handles with your hands ensuring secure grip. Lower yourself into a rack position by bending your knees while keeping your back against the pad. Push through your heels to extend your knees and return to the starting position. You do want to do around 3 sets of 10 to 12. Now, all I'm going to say is this. This machine offering support and focus on your leg muscles. So if you're looking for that extra support, always use the hack squat. There you have it. Those are your three movements to grow your glutes. I am gonna put what kind of machine has the same has the same effect on your muscle right up here. Make sure that you subscribe, like, and share. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish my entire workout. Make sure to add those movements to your lower body day, and you will for sure see a difference if you consistently show up to the gym, a balanced diet, as well as Give yourself time, be patient, 
Have a program that you follow within three to six months and you're really gonna see a difference. Your month, stay consistent, show up for yourself, and I see you on my next video. I love you guys. Thank you for everything you do for me. Bye. You making fun of me. This girl is a bum to me. Like that boy is a cap. Saying he home, but I know where he at. Like, but he blowing her back. Think about me, cause you know that it's fat. Yeah. And it been what it been. I'm pulling his phone like you'll send me a pin. Hey guys, I wanted to open this package that I got. Thank you, Michael, for giving me this package. Um, I'm definitely going to open it. It's basically a little sampler of um, a bunch of stuff. So, hope my curls came out. <laughs> so I just wanted to share with, with you guys. So I wanted to show you what the little bag came with. It's from Sephora. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. so I got a what is this? This is a oh a benefit leave in conditioner for your hair. So I'm definitely gonna try. Let me smell it. Do you want to smell it? Mm -hmm. What it smells like? I don't know. I don't want a good sense of smell. <laughs> okay, so this is the leave in conditioner. I'll try it and then I'll let you know what I really think about it. Then, oh my god, I love this brand. If you have curly hair, this is a very good brand. It's called Curlsmith. Like, it's amazing. I have bought it in Ultra before, but I got a little sampler. So I already know it's a really good product for people who want curly hair. So I'll go ahead and show you guys. It's basically Curlsmith. And they have from conditioner, leave-in conditioner, gel. They have a bunch of stuff. So I'm definitely going to recommend you to try Curl Smith. Another good brand for curly hair, which I get because I do have curly hair, is Pattern. Um, it's a really good brand, and you can find it in Ultra. Or oh, I get it in Ultra, but I'm sure you could get it everywhere. Stop moving so much. And I, oh. And then how do you burn? Also got Amika is a Hydro Rush Intense Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner. So I'm definitely gonna try it. I didn't know Sephora had hair product. I thought it was mostly makeup and skincare. But I also have oh my god, I love um oil for the hair and this is for curly hair. So I haven't tried it, but Morocco oil um is for curly hair and it's just basically oil. I also bought Morocco oil before, but not that one. And it was for your scalp. So I'm definitely going to try that one. And then I got more shampoo. So most of the packaging is shampoo and conditioner. And what I'm going to do is to really try the product and see what is the outcome. I'm going to do a week um, each. So a week each. Not like. So I got a more, more cur curl more curl um product this is a it's called curl manifesto so it's like um oh it keeps your curl curly so most likely hydrated so i'm definitely gonna go ahead and um let you know uh, what how they are when i try them and i also got um a hair protector so um hair protection is very good hairs and strength all type of hair and then we got more. This is like oil for your hair. You could take care of it. So it's just a little bit of um, what I got. And this is for the July. It's called, so this is for July hair bag. So thank you again for giving me the bag. I'm really, 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 really thankful. And I'm for sure going to try all these products. And I'll definitely let you guys know week by week how they did actually work. So I'll let you know how it works. So just wanted to throw in this. So yeah. Um, so this is for the July bag, and the July bag was hair bag. Um, so I really hope, hopefully, fingers crossed, that I could get my hands on maybe I don't know one month is it, but maybe when they have um, face care. Um, I really would. I really would like to try. I really would like to try new product for my skin. Just to see, because there's so many things out there, especially new things that I would like to try. But I'm a little bit hesitant because I don't want to break out. 
but um it just wastes my money so i normally stick to what i know works for me but if i could get my hands on the sephora um skincare bag it would be amazing but i'm so thankful for the hair bag